I just found a pattern on the stock chart for Pinterest that suggests this stock is going higher from here. Let's jump in. What's up everyone, I'm Brad. Welcome to the Money Dad channel. In this video, we are talking about a stock chart pattern on Pinterest, but in general, on this channel, we like to talk about stocks, the stock market, a little bit of Bitcoin, personal finance. So if any of that interests you, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can uh, join the community, join the family, see more videos like this because I got a lot more coming out. I think you're gonna like what I got. So let's jump into Pinterest. So Pinterest is a social media company that has kind of, uh, it's just not really popular anymore, right? I mean, the, in the social media world, you've really got, you know, Facebook is, is just leading the charge there and there's a couple of others, but Pinterest just hasn't been a household name uh, as at least as a stock um, for a long time until 2020. Well, I mean, social media has just done great in 2020. Uh, everybody's staying at home using social media more. And Pinterest has really done well in 2020 um, because of 2020, but also because recently they changed um, their revenue model. They started implementing some new things into their app that uh, has been generating more revenue for the company and it has done very well. So let's jump into this chart. I'll show you what I mean. I've got Pinterest pulled up here in trading view. You can see at the March lows right here, we were all the way down at $10 a share. And now we are trading at $70 a share. So that is uh, from $10 to $70, that is a 700% increase. That's a seven bagger. Uh, if you manage to buy at the March lows, which I don't, most of us don't time anything perfectly. This is just kind of a perfect scenario, but it just goes to show you, you know, how well this stock has done in 2020. So um, there is a chart pattern that is playing out towards the right of the screen over here that suggests even more gains to come. Um, so it's kind of hard to see on the daily stock chart. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom into the one hour. So each candlestick is now one hour on the screen. Um, so you can see here in towards the end of October, they reported earnings uh, and all that new revenue was coming in from that new business model and uh, they beat the street expectations and it just shot through the roof. So that is kind of what started this pattern and I am talking about a cup and handle pattern here. So a cup and handle pattern is a continuation pattern of a bull trend. So you have to have a bull trend going into the cup and handle, which we do. You can see we're going up here and you kind of blast off here and then we start our cup right here. So let me get my brush, I'm gonna show you. This is our bull trend, right? And then you start your cup right here and then you have a handle that retraces a little bit of the cup and then you take off to the upside. A pretty good bit to the upside too. We can determine a price target for that upside based on the size of the cup. So we wanna make sure that um, everything is lined up just right so that we know we are dealing with a cup and handle here. Like I said, we are in a bull trend. Um, we have this nice cup formation. This this uh, little hump right here kind of is breaking out of the cup, but I'm not worried about that. A lot of these cups have short-term action that breaks out of this cup formation, so I'm not worried about that too much. I'm not worried about this big dip right here either. Um, these cups don't always look perfect. Actually, more often than not, they don't look perfect. So not terribly worried about that. You can see the overall trend is a cup though. So, and then we have this handle that per, that pulls back almost perfectly for the size of a handle. You generally want the handle to be close to a third the depth of the cup. So you can see this is I don't know, roughly a third, especially if we were to, to trace this cup all the way down to the bottom of this candle right here, it would probably almost perfectly be a third. But we're being a little conservative with this cup, cup depth. Um, so that's thrown off the measurement there. But um, everything looks really good for, for this cup. So how do we get our price target? So we want to measure the lid of the cup right you got your top there and you got you know what 
Actually, why don't I go ahead and get rid of the brush just to kind of clean it up now that everybody has a good idea of what I'm talking about here. Let's measure the lid, right? You got your, your top of your cup on the left over to the top of your cup on your right. So that's your lid. Now we want to measure from the bottom of the cup to the lid. And I'm going to leave out that the bottom of that um, very lowest candle right there just so that we have a conservative uh, measurement. I don't like to overshoot my price targets because I, I don't want to you know hold a trade too long and then um, you know if we start retracing some of our gains you can lose uh, some of your gains while you're waiting to hit that that uh, price target right so I like to be a little conservative here so that I'm getting out of my trades a little bit earlier and locking in those gains so how do I do that? I, I, I'm conservative on my measurements. So let's take this conservative measurement. It looks like $14 from uh, this bottom of the cup to the lid of the cup, $14, cool. So we got our handle, we hit our lid, we go a little bit above the lid, we retrace the lid, and now we're gonna take off for $14 worth of price action, right? So let's put 14 bucks up here and see what we get. I moved it over a little bit to give us a little bit of space to, uh, so I can show you guys. So I, I made a $14 measurement to the upside from our lid and I get a $81.71 price target. So that is the price target for Pinterest and uh, we're sitting at $69.70 right now. So you're talking twelve dollars you're talking you're talking twelve dollars of upside on this target so twelve dollars from seventy dollars is a is a pretty good percentage right so this is a this is a really nice trade and what's really nice about this one is we have already confirmed that is it is a cup and handle uh, so there's a very high probability from here that we are going to hit this price target we don't have to wait for the rest of the pattern to play out or confirmation uh, we have already confirmed we've done the cup uh, we're, we're in the bull trend we've done the cup we've done the handle we broke out above the lid we re retraced to the lid and now we're starting to take off uh, again from there so and we are seeing the action take place that is going to the price target right now as we speak. So this is a good buying opportunity. Personally, I bought this stock today. I am targeting the 8150 range. I'm going to get around, I'm going to get out around 8150 because, like I said, I like to be conservative with my trades. Just get out early, uh, lock in those gains. So I have money in this one right now, um, and I am looking at 8150. Uh, I did just chart this out to 8171 on the screen, but uh, I'm going to get out early and lock in those gains. So all that said, I am not a financial advisor. This is my opinion. This is for entertainment purposes only. I have been doing this for a long time and it has worked out well for me, but I am not a financial advisor. So please do not uh, take any action based on this video alone. Make sure you are doing your own research, your due diligence. Um, taking uh, taking other factors into account like fundamental analysis and things like that um, do not use this video alone for your trades because I am not a financial advisor okay so that is all I got for this video if you enjoyed it got some value out of it please consider hitting that like button that subscribe button leave a comment down below I will see you there and in the next video thanks guys